Good morning everyone and welcome to Truck and Coffee where I share my daily vlogs as an owner operator. Today we are in Norfolk Southern picking up a container delivering to US Foods. It's going to be a live unload and it should be a great day guys. It's around 6.30 in the morning. So let's go ahead, check in, get access to the terminal, go pick up our container and go do our first delivery. Okay, we just entered the terminal. Guys, one thing I wanna mention is like I've been mentioning in my previous videos, how empty the terminals are. You see a lot of empty spots. The train in the background there, it's not really moving. There's nothing happening there. So that goes to show you that it's slow guys. They, they're holding the containers at the port. You see a lot of empty spots and that's not usual. 653-040, that's our container. Let me go ahead and back on it. Okay guys, we're connected. I check all my tires, lug nuts, mud flaps. My doors are locked, seals intact. All my lights are working. Sit tight on my locks. Everything is operational. Now we're proceeding to exit the terminal US foods containers are super heavy Most of, the, most of the time they're uh, canned goods. We are, we are only going 17 miles away from the terminal. It's about a 20 minute drive. shouldn't be a problem as long as it's moving it should be okay but we're gonna make it a great day guys so let's keep on driving let me get a little closer and we'll go from there hey guys as you can see traffic is moving pretty good it's 
it's uh, 7 a.m. Sun is coming up. Exit 16A, US 21 North Sunset Road East. Then use either lane to turn right on Sunset Road. Use either lane to turn right on Sunset Road. Okay, we're about a mile away from the entrance in U.S. Foods. In 1,000 feet, turn left, then turn right. Traffic was light. Turn left, then turn right. So this is U.S. Foods. But that's the company entrance. Our entrance is 
on the other side. guys let me check in with the guard and we'll go from there okay guys we're inside US foods we just passed the guard check so when you enter and you check in with the guard They'll check your paperwork. Everything's by appointment. If you're too early, they won't let you in. Oh, um, not sure if what happens if you're too late. Right in front of me, that door. So this is the paperwork they gave me. I just fill in the information needed and I turn it in to the door straight of me. There's a little mailbox. So let me turn it in and we'll go from there. Okay, so I just turned in my paperwork. Now I'll wait until they call me and tell me what dock door to back into. They got plenty of doors open, so I should be getting a phone call soon. So let's go ahead and wait and I'll let you know from there. Okay guys, they told me to back into door 62. Check my wheels. I'll go around the truck, check my tires, and wait for them to offload me. Okay, guys, they just finished offloading. It took about two hours. I'm pulling away from the door. There's another driver trying to get into my door, so I just try to get out the way. So I'm gonna stop here and check with my guard. After I check out, I'm gonna pull over to the side here and close my doors. So let me check out real quick. I check out with the guard. I pull over to the side, close my doors, and now I'm driving to the highway. I'm on our way back to the terminal to drop this container. Let me get to the highway and we'll go from there. Okay guys, we're about 10 miles away from the terminal. Not a lot of heavy traffic. Like I mentioned before, we're close to the terminal. It's about 12, 15 minute drive.
closer, we'll go from there. Alright guys, we're just around the corner from the terminal. As you can see, it's a beautiful day. Weather's around 60 degrees. No traffic. Still early. It's around uh, no, uh, around 10 a.m. right now. My beautiful trees are nice and bright green. Guys, we made it back to the terminal. I'm gonna go ahead and park this container and bobtail out. Like always, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.